The Big Bang Theory is currently the popular model defining the birth of our universe. Observations on expanding the universe, lingering electromagnetic radiation, cosmic background radiation, etc., have also helped back this theory. However, there are rumors that the James Webb Telescope recently proved the Big Bang Theory wrong. Is this true? People suspect the rumor is false, but some claim this might be true. The images James Webb Telescope took have surprised scientists with how the theories of galaxy formation can be changed. But it is sad that they don't negate the Big Bang Theory. Let's find the truth about whether the Big Bang Theory is real. Stay tuned till the end as we will reveal the truth about our universe. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Here we go. So firstly, the James Webb Space Telescope has not proved the Big Bang Theory wrong. Despite the pseudoscientific theory that went viral in August and mischaracterized quotes from an astrophysicist to create a false narrative that the theory didn't happen. Though the telescope has been conducting some operations, it has made some iconic discoveries, including detecting some galaxies suspected to have existed 200 million years after the Big Bang. The issues with calibrating the instruments might mean that some of these galaxies are not distant, but the telescope broke all the records with some of the images. An astrophysicist at the University of Kansas, Allison Kirkpatrick, said that the telescope is designed to discover the earliest galaxies in our universe. One of the things it discovered is that the galaxies are more massive than we thought they would be. That's not it. Another surprising thing is it revealed that they have a lot of structure, and we didn't think galaxies were so well organized numerous years ago. The standard model of cosmology describes how galaxies were formed through a hierarchical process involving clusters of stars clouds of gas and more are coming together to form a massive nascent galaxies. However, these early galaxies seem more evolved than expected in the observations by James Webb. This became a puzzle that confounds the growth of the galaxy. Kirkpatrick went back to her research and received a text from a friend saying that there was an article published by the Institute of Art and Ideas, but now we're published on a primary new site saying that James Webb's observations of distant galaxies has disproved the Big Bang, which is not true. The worst thing is the article had taken what Kirkpatrick stated and misused her statement to provide the false impression that astrophysicists were panicking over the thought of the Big Bang theory being wrong. Eric Lerner is the author of the article, who has been the primary denier of the Big Bang theory since the 1980s, preferring his personal pseudoscientific alternative. Things got a stressful turn for her, and some emails cluttered her inbox from people who read the article and believed it. Why does this matter? One of the primary reasons the Big Bang Theory stands up because of the cosmic microwave background. Discovered in 1964, the CMB is the radiation left over from the Big Bang, right when the universe started, and scientists got to see it with satellites detecting that lingering radiation. So to bolster evidence the Big Bang is incorrect, one needs to explain the CMB another way. Leonard's dismissal of the CMB and his proposal for the observation has been disproven earlier. Also, note that James Webb is not created to see or undertake new analysis of CMB as he can't see that far back in time. However, it'll look at the epoch a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. What if found there would reform our views in the early universe, galaxies, and the evolution of the cosmos. But it's disingenuous to claim the early study and image results have contradicted the theory. Kirkpatrick said it supports the Big Bang model because the early galaxies were different from the galaxies today. Science is about incremental progress to understand and come to a stronger conclusion based on observations. The observations cosmologists and astrophysicists have made over decades lined up with the Big Bang theory. But unfortunately, they don't line up anywhere near if we use the alternative theory of Lerner. That doesn't mean scientists will not look for evidence overturning the Big Bang Theory, but for now, it remains the best theory to explain what we see. Scientific theories can and should be challenged by scientists presenting thoughtful and highly detailed arguments, but unfortunately, this is not one of those times. Hence, the Big Bang happened. Now, what exactly is the Big Bang Theory? It is a misleading name for the expanding universe that we see. Also, we see an infinite universe expanding into itself, and the name conveys the idea of firecrackers exploding at a time in a place with a center. The universe doesn't have a center, and the Big Bang happened everywhere at once, and it was a process happening in time, not a point. Can we see the Big Bang? Well, it's not something we can see, but we can see the heat that was there about 380,000 years after the universe's expansion began 13.8 billion years ago. This is the heat covering the sky and filling the universe. 
Scientists map it with satellites called COBE, or Cosmic Background Explorer, Planck and WMAP or Wilkinson Microwave Aristropy Probe. The universe at this point was so smooth with tiny ripples in the temperature. So are the observations of scientists supporting the Big Bang? Yes, the James Webb Telescope's observations support the Big Bang model, showing that the first galaxies were smaller and grew larger with time, as per the prediction by Big Bang cosmology. The surprising discovery that galaxies in the early universe are more plentiful and a bit more massive or structure than expected doesn't prove the Big Bang wrong. It simply means that some cosmology following the Big Bang requires a bit of tweaking. And that's the fun of science. Despite the arguments from Lerner and other deniers, science is never clean-cut. We're always improving and learning the theories, and there's no shadowy conspiracy trying to stamp out independent thought. People shouldn't be allowed to question things. Still, intelligent questioning is done in a framework to open mindlessness without preconceived ideologies, where beliefs are forged by evidence instead the other way. That's exactly how scientists attained the Big Bang Theory a century ago by following the evidence that our universe is expanding, working out to understand it, and testing it on predictions like the CMB radiation. So next time you hear someone saying that the Big Bang is false, the Earth is flat, or climate change is not happening, don't take it for granted. Just ask for evidence. None of this is surprising to a philosopher at Boston University, Lee McIntyre. He's keen to point out the difference between people who peddle anti-science narratives as well as people who believe them because they don't know something better. He defines some ways to avoid falling victim to science deniers. Firstly, check the source. Check whether it is derived from a reputable source like a peer-reviewed journal or a primary news site. Then, check who else agrees and you can do so by finding other experts from the institutions who agree or get some validity. Check qualifications, whether the writer is from a reputable university or institution or an independent researcher without accreditation. Check the references to know whether the writer has done research to support the result. Then, follow the logic as well. Next, check whether they are cherry-picking evidence and become an expert. Finally, if all these fail and you're unsure, then do an open-minded reading on the subject to ensure you're not misled. McIntyre further said that the tactics employed in Lerner's article are classic misdirections used by science deniers. For example, Lerner uses logical fallacies, implying that in the Big Bang theory, highly distant galaxies should look bigger because, in an expanding universe, their light should have left when they were closer to us. This premise is not making any sense. These were the farthest galaxies when their light led them and are still the farthest now, so they shouldn't appear any bigger with distance. McIntyre also cherry-picks data ignoring other evidence for the Big Bang, like the cosmic microwave background, which is the left overheat from the event. He overblows a real data and suggests that unexpected characteristics of these galaxies are not a massive problem for models of galaxy formation. Still, Lerner wrote rules out the entirety of cosmology. Also, he denigrates the real scientists by knowingly misusing their words against them and claiming that there is a conspiracy among the government-funded committees to stamp out heretical ideas daring to question the Big Bang. Science denial is a growing problem and has existed for as long as science, but recently has grown and been encouraged by social media. Do you believe in Lerner's alternative theory? Let's know in the comments below.